right, we're good. Uh, Professor Yen, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Uh, how has the response been following your, uh, your opinion column? Um, I haven't gotten any uh, emails either way. Um, you know, sometimes you write these columns and you get people who complain. Um, but uh, I did share it with some colleagues of mine, and uh, they seem to be quite uh, favorably inclined. If you could just summarize uh, quickly for people, of course, we'll recommend that they take a look at it themselves. But if you could just summarize kind of the point you were making in this piece. Yeah, so the, of course, the movement to rename a number of uh, schools in Portland uh, Public Schools District is uh, well underway. I think Wilson has already announced that uh, it will be renamed by next year. And, uh, you know, there are going to be lots and lots of worthy people to be named after. Um, I was just suggesting one that we not stick to the tradition of naming Portland public school high schools after presidents, because uh, that's not a very diverse group of, uh, of people, obviously. Um, and then when we consider groundbreaking uh, civil rights figures, particularly ones with Oregon ties, Minoru Yasui would be one of the uh, leading candidates. Uh, basically, the, the short story is that during World War II, he was uh, subject to the uh, exclusion order that uh, President Roosevelt signed into uh, effect. Um, and he challenged it uh, in an act of brave civil disobedience. He actually uh, violated the exclusion order in downtown Portland and was ultimately indicted by a grand jury. Um, and he defended on the grounds that this was an unlawful order. The courts upheld his conviction. Uh, and so he was sent off to the uh, internment camp with uh, 80,000 other uh, Japanese Americans uh, during World War II. Um, so I think that as a reminder of one of the darkest moments of our 20th century civil rights history, it would be appropriate to rename one of the schools after him so that it would be a reminder of what we did that was a very bad thing. During a time where... Um... So many of the contributions of the African-American culture are being uh, brought up into society because of the movement for Black Lives Matter brought on by uh, systemic racism and, and police violence. Do you feel that specifically the Pacific Northwest doesn't give enough time, credit, and attention to the influence of Asian culture? Um, you know, I, I guess it's, I don't see it as an either or. Um, again, I think there are going to be very many uh, African American civil rights leaders who would be well worthy of being uh, honored with school names as well. Um, but specifically, Asian American culture, um, uh, you know, Oregon overall has slightly above average uh, Asian population compared to the entire United States. But what's notable is that after the uh, interment uh, relocation of so many uh, Japanese Americans from Oregon, that many did not come back, unlike California and Washington, which uh, saw greater returns. So, um, you know, I don't know if you count that as not giving enough credit or not paying enough attention, but clearly there's been some, uh, uh, I guess, loss of the uh, contributions of uh, Asian Americans to uh, Oregon's history. There is a large group of, of people in, in society that doesn't believe we should be changing the names of schools or uh, replacing monuments with the monuments for, or statues for other people. What do you say to, to those people in terms of teaching them about this person who you feel more people should probably know about in the Pacific Northwest? Yeah, um, you know, I... I, I think I can see the argument about these are historical statues or historical names and so forth. Um, I think one thing to be clear is that when we uh, when there's a renaming effort, it's not rewriting history. The history will still remain. Obviously, um, President Wilson will not be erased from the history books as having been the president. Uh, I think it's a question of who do we want to commemorate with statues and uh, names of buildings and so forth. Um, and so, again, I happen to bring up Minoru Yasui simply because, um, uh, one, I think he's not that well known, even though he actually did have a case go before the Supreme Court. Um, the other cases that make up the Japanese American internment cases tend to be more well known, um, one involving Fred Korematsu and the other involving Gordon Harai Bashi. Um, but uh, Yasui's case was one of the big four that the Supreme Court decided. 
He also received the um, uh, Civilian uh, Presidential Medal from President Obama. It's the highest civilian award that the federal government gives. So uh, clearly the president, President Obama recognized Yasui's stature in terms of civil rights uh, history. Um, and so given that he uh, was an Oregonian, that he was born here, he grew up here, he attended um, the uh, Oregon colleges, uh, it seems to me that um, you know, we really should be honoring one of our own. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Sure. Thanks.